Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to give you the winning ingredients for your DraftKings showdown slate going from Monday night football between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Baltimore Ravens. Before we do a nice deep dive into this showdown, let's not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the love. We are up to 443. A nice little push um, over the Sunday afternoon of putting out content. That, that I get two thumbs up for that. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Let's continue to push forward. 450, 500, 1,000. That's the goal, and then we're going to take it to the moon, okay? But I'm going to keep giving you this consistent content. That is the key. And also figuring out these game scripts okay each and every game so far um if we're just looking at espn and going over the nfl and the scores for the showdown i spoke about the la rams and the chicago bears currently i if, if you listen i told you to play stafford i told you to play montgomery uh i did sprinkle in the kicker in there daryl henderson guys like that you should be cashing in those lineups uh, that's crazy. Justin Fields, that's an X factor right there. That is not very, very known right there because that was a scenario where you wasn't sure when Dalton would leave, but you were sure that the Rams with their elite defense were, were going to put pressure on Dalton and probably force the hand of the Bears to make a decision Maybe make a switch. Um, they were using them in some specific packages and switching it up um, just to be creative. But uh, the Rams D is still looking for middle. They got an interception as well. So let's get into this slate. All right. Now, this one, we have a strong Baltimore defense, despite the fact they lost Marcus Peters. Marcus Peters, corner, very more of a gambling type of quarter. He likes to take... Um, Depending on what the um, the coverage coverage is or what wide receivers are going 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 on, and depending if it's zone or man to man, he likes to take chances chances more of a Asante Samuel type of cornerback. So what we're gonna do is since he's gone, maybe this could be it might be an upgrade. Maybe this new corner that's gonna step in for him that they got right now, uh, starting is Anthony Everett um, across from Marlon Humphrey, who is an elite. Um, cornerback right there. They still have Jimmy Smith, who's a nice veteran to have, and Savon Young. Uh, Anthony Everett's going to have to step up and is going to have to play very good cornerback um, alongside of Marlon Humphrey. Hopefully he's not exploited, but this is a Las Vegas team, which they do try. Their, their weapons have improved. Um, hopefully Brian Edwards will step up alongside of Darren Waller, but the gaping hole is going to be on the Las Vegas Raiders side. If you're just looking at DVOA rankings right now, uh, the Raiders project currently 26th against the pass and 28th against the run. So those are two factors where, especially against the run, if you can't stop the run, you can't stop Baltimore. That's why I like another type of onslaught uh, lineup. I want to be more bullish on the Baltimore side and use those guys and sprinkle in the Vegas, the Las Vegas Raiders. Okay. So in the captain spot, my favorite play right now is going to be Tyson Williams, um, who was currently, he was not currently, he was like the four string back rookie um, for the Baltimore Ravens. That's when they had J.K. Dobbins. That's when they had Gus Edwards. That's when they had Justice Hill. All those guys get injured with a knee, knee, and Achilles. And now, literally, Tyson Williams is the only back that has, you know, rapport with Lamar Jackson, understands somewhat of the offense that they're running because they did sign in uh, Latavius Murray. He doesn't know much of the offense. They did um, sign Trent Cannon. They did um, sign Le'Veon Bell, and I think they have Devonta Freeman on the practice squad. So all these guys are huge question marks. They're not really up to speed with the Baltimore offense, and you have a Tyson Williams who should get all the work. So he's going to be my favorite captain. I know a lot of people are going to go to Waller. A lot of people are going to go to Lamar Jackson, maybe even Mark Andrews, but I think a steal to have will be Tyson Williams at that um, captain spot. You can, you know, save some salary, skip all those higher price guys. Tyson Williams should be like fifth or sixth on the list. 
save some salary, and you can pay up at other spots, get you Lamar Jackson, who we're going to speak on right now. So if I said the Raiders were 28th and 26th against the pass and the rush, that means we want Lamar Jackson because this is a dual threat quarterback obviously he finished strong in the second half of the season as you can look at this look at this 30 uh, let's, let's start at this 26 against dallas 37 against cleveland 30 against jacksonville 22 against the giants 25 against cincinnati and then 28 all right struggled against buffalo in the playoffs but that is fine lamar is revamped back and i think um he's going to take it to a whole new level this year, they they brought in some help in the wide receiver core for the Baltimore Ravens. Rashad Bateman is currently on the IR. They still got Sammy Watkins uh, to uh, go alongside of Marquise Brown and Mark Andrews. I'm really liking what I see out of them. So you can get really, really creative with some of the weapons to pair with Lamar Jackson. So um, let's see. Let me just take out the defensive kicker before, let's, before we get there. So some of the, obviously, the weapons we want is going to be Mark Andrews right here. His number one target, especially with Rashad Bateman gone, I think Mark Andrews gets a little bit of a bump. Um, he has more rapport with him. Uh, we'll see the connection between him and Sammy Watkins. Uh, Marquise Brown is more of a deep guy, not necessarily saying he's going to be that, you know, insurance wide receiver for this offense this year. It's been Mark Andrews pretty much the last two seasons, okay? So we like Mar Mark Andrews at 9K. If you want to put him in there, we'll throw him in there. Um, I want a couple guys I do want to bring it back with. If you have enough salary, obviously we like Darren Waller. The defense might focus on him. Obviously, since uh, Josh Jacobs is questionable, he has been downgraded. So there's some upside in playing Kenyon Drake. But the number one target for this offense is going to be Darren Waller. He's pretty much a mismatch against uh, most guys. They might move Marlon Humphrey over to him. So that could be some creative defensive ideas for the Baltimore Ravens. But he's just a picture of consistency, 9, 10, and 117, 5, 6, and 112. Just double digits each and every game. Darren Waller is obviously a must play. Um, and you want to throw him in there. So, you already got a lot of 10K salary here with Tyson Williams, Lamar Jackson, and Darren Waller. If you want to get really creative, you might have to, you know, go a little bit cheaper on some other spots. All right. So another, we'll, we'll take out some of these expensive guys. So you, I don't want to go negative, negative. Um, it's going to be Brian Edwards. So some of the cheaper guys I do like, first of all, is going to be wide receiver Brian Edwards. If it's not Darren Waller, then I think what we saw – um, in the preseason in camp was that Brian Edwards was getting a nice rapport with Derek Carr. And I really want to, I want to avoid Derek Carr because of the Baltimore defense, but these pass catchers can have some upside and outplay the quarterback, obviously. Okay. Uh, Brian Edwards, huge, big body wide receiver, nice size and speed combination. Um, he is a perfect pair with Darren Waller. We'll see if he can get things clicking in the regular season. Uh, hopefully he'll avoid Marlon Humphrey coverage, maybe get on with uh, Anthony Everett. And uh, he possibly has some nice upside at 5,600. All right, that's nice cheap play right there. The next play I want to talk about will be Kenyon Drake. All right, we want to wait on news about Josh Jacobs. If he's officially out, then we can not comfortably play, but the the volume that he will get in this offense uh, is a two thumbs up for that one. No Josh Jacobs. They're going to lean on Kenyon Drake, use him. And the rushing and receiving because he is a dual threat back. He did it with the Arizona Cardinals. He did it with the Miami Dolphins. So that is a nice play to have in your flex pool. All right. Let's find another cheap guy that you can use for tomorrow. Um, looking at it, I, w I did want to touch on the kicker and the defense just because those are some ways to cheaper salary. Derek Carr is not a great quarterback is turnover prone as well. And I think this Ravens defense, a lot of people are looking down on it now. If you're just looking at that number, it's coming down on 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 the Baltimore Ravens. Like they're they're a lesser team just because they lost a lot of running backs in only one corner. But this team is stout. Is absolutely stout. 
on the defensive side. They got Calais Campbell. They got Pernell McPhee. They got Patrick McQueen. They got Marlon Humphrey. These are scary dudes. That They got Justin Houston. So they, there's a ton of guys on this defense still, which is going to present a lot of problems for the Las Vegas Raiders. Okay, So I still love the Ravens defense. If you want to use them as uh, a captain, I don't think you should use them as a captain because I think Lamar, Tyson, some other X-Factor type of guys will perform better. But Ravens D is a plus. And then obviously uh, you can see a scenario where the Baltimore Ravens are moving the ball up and down the field and they might have to kick some field goals. And you got one of the, the most consistent kickers in the league is Justin Tucker. Struggled a little bit last season, which was a rare, rare commodity. But uh, don't let it fool you. He's still elite. And I think in the dome in Las Vegas in that nice hot weather over there, he should be fine. OK, he should definitely be fine. And that is another cheap option to have uh, for your lineups, which is going to be Justin Tucker. We'll throw him in there as well. OK, so we're going to stick with the Baltimore onslaught. And I said it, Lamar Jackson, pair him with Tyson, pair him with um, if you want to get really creative with Sammy Watkins um, and other guys. If you want to uh, obviously go with Mark Andrews, pair him that type of way and then bring it back with a Brian Edwards, a Darren Waller. And if you need cheaper options, Brian Edwards is one. Obviously you can use Ravens defense, which should be strong play against the Raiders and Justin Tucker. Uh, maybe if I can see another guy, another sleeper, all right, I'll throw in a, one more sleeper for you guys. Devin Duvernay, size, speed combination. That he plays special teams. He's going to play that wide receiver three role, most likely in the slot as well. Um, since they have no Rashad Bateman, this this guy is an X factor in, in some occasions, okay? And I think he's going to get some run at wide receiver to go alongside Marquise Brown, Sammy Watkins, and Devin Duvernay. If you need... So, yeah, $3,000 salary left. He is not a bad play to have. And I like Devin DuVernay also to go with Lamar Jackson, right? So that is going to be tomorrow's showdown, all right, between the Ravens and the Raiders. We're going to stick with the Baltimore side. We're definitely going to go run heavy with Tyson and Lamar and sprinkle in some Raiders. And then you should be at the top of your leaderboards. Uh, good luck, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, MessengeSD, and I'll be back with another video very soon. Peace out.